the salmon in this area was disrupted by hydroelectric power, that being the Grand Coulee Dam. And so for at least 60 years, through my lifetime anyway, we have not been able to fish for salmon here in the Okanagan. We would have to trade for it. And so I grew up and we would have to trade from other uh, nations and tribes to have our own salmon. Now, we, after a 12-year project, we are able to harvest salmon in the Okanagan region. They have uh, created a project where they release fry into the Okanagan River system. And we are in our second or third year of being able to harvest salmon for the first time in about 60 years. And it's fantastic. It's, it, the salmon is absolutely delicious. It's wild. It's sockeye. And um, not only are we able to enjoy that within the Okanagan Nation, they've also opened up a recreational fishery, and they've also, uh, they've also started economic development. Uh, you can buy wild sockeye salmon in some of the local restaurants and some of the wineries and businesses in the Okanagan. So it's something that everybody can share in in the Okanagan. Um, and us as Okanagan people, I feel very honored that we have salmon coming back to our territory and we're able to share it and love it and fish for it and eat it, most of all. <laughs>